In 1965, a series of books were written, criticizing the Warren Commission's conclusion. In 1966, a film was produced by Emile D'Antonio, a Harvard classmate of John F. Kennedy. Entitled, Rush to Judgment, it provides an argument for the defense of Lee Harvey Oswald. But it was in 1967 that the Kennedy assassination was back in the headlines, when a New Orleans district attorney named Jim Garrison charged businessman Clay Shaw with the murder. We know what cities were involved. We know how it was done uh, in, uh, in uh, the essential respects. We know the key individuals involved. And uh, we are in the process of developing evidence now. I thought I made that clear days ago. Although the Garrison trial ended in confusion and ridicule, it did result in one thing that made the public sit up and take notice, a bootleg release of the Zapruder film. Jim Garrison uh, subpoenaed a copy for the New Orleans uh, trial. It was immediately duplicated as soon as it reached his office and went out to the critical community. Then they took Dan Rather's radio narration and put that in as a soundtrack. The second shot hit President Kennedy, and there was no doubt there. If his head went forward with considerable violence. His head went forward with considerable violence. Forward with considerable violence. Forward. And so this is how it entered the critical community, through this one format, and went to college campuses. And I would guess conservatively, uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of college students saw it. And when, in the anti-war demonstrations, they would show that. And when CBS would appear, they would yell out to them, forward at considerable speed, showing that they knew uh, that they, if they lied about the murder of President Kennedy, they'd lie about the war. <laughs> 